keep you out of hell. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? For the good that I would. The good that I would. That God wants you to do. I do not. You won't do it. But the evil. But the evil. Which I would not. But the evil. But the evil which I would not. That I would not. That I do. Hold up. You know, the flesh call evil good. That's right. And good evil. The flesh is totally the opposite from God. What are them that call evil good? Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. It feels good to that man or woman to get a buzz <laughs> from that liquor. That's right. Feel good to him. That's right. So drunk he think the keyhole of his door is the Grand Canyon. <laughs> That's right. A crack in the side of walk done got bigger in his eyes. Amen. Smoked some weed and sitting in the car and he looked at his rear view mirror. He think the back of the car still haven't came round the corner yet. <laughs> Get right. so drunk, make him beat up his wife. That's right. Get so drunk, he get his daughter mixed up with his girlfriend. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Make him approach his own daughter. Amen. Sodomize his own son. Yeah. So high. Make you cuss God. That's right. Make you slap your mother. Yeah. That's good to you. Good. But it's evil to God. What are you then that call evil good? And I guarantee you all this truth preached, you'll find them with a thumbs, a thumbs down on social media. You know why? That's true. Because the evil out there wants to do the evil. That's right. And the evil don't want their evil spoken against. That's right. That's right. The viewers know their pastor ain't going to speak against it because he's part of the problem. Amen. Your pastor is just a thief and a robber. Oh, he got a few babies in the church, not from his wife. <laughs> Congregation dwindled down in size, so nobody won't come in. He figured he'll make some. That's right. Amen. 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 Make some. He makes some. Deacon makes some. The little jack leg, Jerry Curl, slick head of Reverend makes some. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What is that? What are you then that call evil good? You better get this, viewers. Isaiah 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe. Woe mean I'm sorry for you. That's right. God is warning you. Woe unto them that call Whoa. unto them. Unto them. That call evil good. You know, you got to take on the intelligence of God. And to do that, you got to take on his mind. Oh, yeah. Apostle Paul said, let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. That's right. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. When I take on this mind, I find myself slowly but surely turning against the thing I used to love. That's right. That's right. As it stands now, we got a carnal mind. Oh, yeah. And the Bible says to be carnal minded is death. Yes. But to be spiritual minded. Life and peace. Is life. And peace. And peace. For the carnal mind is not subject to the, to law, the of God. law of God. Neither indeed can be. Oh, the carnal mind is rebellious. That's why your viewers can't stand Pastor Jennings. That's right. Your pastor can't stand it. He's a carnal minded heathen. He's carnal minded. Some that come visit us when we go to different parts of the country and foreign countries, sometimes enemies come. That's right. They come, can't stand it, but they come. They coming. And sometimes the word of God work on them. They be having their arms full, sitting there. But by the time it's done, even they rocking their heads saying, that's right. That's right. What happened? The word is breaking them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, like the cowboy ride the bull, soon he breaks them. <laughs> Amen. I don't care who you are. The word of God will soon break you. That's right. Get this in your mind, Mr. and Miss. That's right. Nobody is tougher than God. No. Nobody. Nobody. You can be with the Bloods. You can be with the Crips. You can be with the Gays of Disciples. Yeah. You can be with the Mexican Mafia. Oh, yeah. You can be with any group you want. But nobody, nobody. is tougher than God. That's right. That's you right. think you're a man because you sit in a car and drive by and shoot? Yes. And innocent boys and girls is dead. Somebody 
son dead. That's right. Somebody mother dead. Yeah. Somebody father dead. That's right. And you think that make you a man? My Lord. That seem good to you. Ask good. yourself. Why does murder give you pleasure? That's right. How did you get so barbaric? That's right. Full of hell. Yeah. Full of the devil. You know when you like that, you're full of the devil. Full of it. That's right. And only God can cast that devil out of you. That's right. Then give you a love for life. Yeah. You want to love life? Love God. That's right. Amen. And you will live a life that's give God the greatest satisfaction you can think of it. That's right. You know, we got a message that breaks everything. Yes. I got men all around the world from different gangs. I baptize men from the Italian mob. Wonderful. In the prison. Wonderful. What have got, you know, you know, a lot of folks say, that man is too rough and too vulgar. Come to jail with me. Amen. You think I hit hard over the air? I invite you to jail. Come on and hang out with me in prison. That's right. I love going to jail. Yeah. Thank God when we go to jail and bring the word of God, sitting there in a room packed with hundreds. Sometimes the chapel can't hold the people when we come, so they give us the gymnasium. That's true. They be lined up around the wall, murderers, rapists, thieves, gangbangers, right. everything. everything. And I love to go early. That's right. I love to go early so I can sit out there with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't be in the office with the little chaplain, and he asks me, you ready to go out? And I say, let me go early. <laughs> I want to sit among the wicked. That's right. That's what you do. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. I go right out there, sit with him. That's right. Hang out with him. Hang out with him. Why, Paul said, I become all things to all men. All men. That's right. I went to one prison one day, and a man, man, told me that he was in for murder and how many men he killed and whatnot. And he said, Pastor Dennis, I got to say, man, you, you're a tough man. He, then he said, I don't mean no offense, but, you know, you got a lot of nerve. Hmm. And uh, he said, I done killed a lot of folk in my time, Pastor Dennis. He said, do you know the kind of men you sitting around? Hmm. I said, that's all right, brother. That's right. I done murdered more people than you. That's right. <laughs> Oh, he looked. Yeah. And he had no idea what I was talking I said, I said, all right, you in jail for murder. I'm in here now for murder. That's right. I said, I didn't kill more than you have in your whole lifetime. He said, Pastor Dennis. I said, I'm a murderer. God made me a murderer. murderer. My job is to kill and destroy your fleshy will. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Bible says you killed all, all, the all the day long. All the day long. Baptized many in the Italian mafia, Mexican mafia, black mafia, nation of Islam, five percenters, yeah. Sunni Muslims, and all, everything. everything. Even in some cases, the chaplain got baptized. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I was in one prison in... Uh, Skinhead and uh, very tall white brother was in the Aryan nation. White supremacists. Hmm. Glory to God, but the word of God went and knocked the whole prison over. Amen. And I came in their language. That's right. In a language that they just had to understand. That's right. And I used an example and got the white gentleman up, and when I Asked him to stand up. I want to use you as an example. I didn't think he ever stopped going up. He was so tall. He stood up and kept going and kept going. And I didn't see the swastika on his arm until he got up. Amen. And when he stood up, he had that swastika and he was flexing it. Mm -hmm. I ain't kidding about no swastika. You flex, I flex Bible. <laughs> but I care anything about a swastika. Then I came in their language. Yeah. And uh, and that shocked the whole prison. Even the guards started rumbling. I said, that's all right. 
I said, all right, we, we, we got this. You know, because I, I have experienced it. Some brothers that are here can bear witness. To go inside of a prison, they hold two, three, four thousand men. That's right. One chaplain, one warden said, Pastor Jennings, never in the history of our prison have a preacher came here and every inmate want to come to the meeting. Amen. He said, most time a preacher come here and nobody want to come. <laughs> he said, but the word was put out and was posted on the board. Pastor Gino Jennings is coming such and such a day. He said, it seemed like every religious group canceled everything they had and they want to be there. That's right. Amen. I mean, the message is so strong in upstate Pennsylvania. There was a race riot. Yeah. And I speak the truth in Christ Jesus and lie not. Yeah. And there was a popular chaplain in Our Allentown, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And he got a call. There was a race riot. He said, uh, if you want that riot to stop, he said, I know someone that can stop the race riot. <laughs> they asked him who? He said, call Pastor Jennings. Amen. He, I guarantee if he come in there, all the inmates will listen. Mm -hmm. You see, in God, let me break it so plain, you just got to get it. You see, God don't make niggas. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. They're the old troublemaker now. God don't make crackers. That's right. God don't make chinks. And God don't make spicks. That's right. God say, let us make man. Man. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. The devil made niggas. That's right. The devil made crackers. That's right. The devil made spicks. Yeah. And the devil made chinks. God make man. man. That's right. That's it. That's it. And we preach it just like that just in the like, prison. Just like that. We had that Aryan Nation racist fella standing there. I said, in order for me, order for him to respect me as a man, he got to stop looking at me as a nigger. That's right. I said, in order for me to respect him as a man, I can't look at him as a cracker. That's right. And when the word went to work, before you know it, this man whose shoulders was towering over my head, I asked him want to be baptized. This big bodybuilder, <laughs> Aryan Nation Swaxicawera, was crying like a baby, and we took him down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. What makes this message, glory to God, so different from the others? We touch those subjects that the preachers are afraid to touch. That's right. And what makes them scared is because they're scared of being threatened, scared of being shot at, yeah. scared of being sued. I'm not afraid of none of the above. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. When I look at my white brothers, they're just a brother to it's me. Brother. I don't care about you. I don't say that's my white brother. What's so big about your whiteness? That's right. You just my brother. That's right. When I see my Spanish brother, I don't say that's my Spanish brother. I just say that's my brother. That's my brother. I don't care what nationality you are. That's right. That's right. All of us got the same mother. All of us. Eve is the mother of all, all living. All living. That's right. So you that go to this wicked. Racist trash religion. Trash. That build up black and build up white and build up yellow and build up brown and nobody build up God. That's right. That's right. Holiness is for everybody. For everybody. Hallelujah. Go and take God. That's right. It's for everybody. That's right. Go and take God. Every nation under the sun got to repent of their sins and go down in water in the I name of Jesus Christ right. and let God fill you with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yes. All nations. All nations shall flow unto it. Everybody. Glory everybody. To God. Everybody got to flow unto flow it. Flow unto it. Amen. Amen. What did he say there? Woe well, unto them that call evil good. Woe well, unto them. You mean to tell me you're going to cut a man? Mm. 
because his skin color is not the same as yours? That's right. I want all you inmates that are watching around the world to get this. Amen. And all you religions that got a thug for a leader. Yeah. That give his followers charge to go murder and kill people that's not of the color of your skin. And that's made of one blood. What? In the book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 26. Look okay, at what God said. And that's made of one blood. Made of one blood. All nations of men. All nations are made of one blood. Now here, here, here. An old fool would say, well, you know that can't be true because there's A type and B type. It ain't talking about type. It's no. talking about blood condition. That's right. Not blood type, blood condition. That's right. Amen. Some got A type, some got B type, some got type O. Ain't talking about that. No. But you got one condition. Yeah. That means, what is that condition? You're born in the world with sin and shaped into iniquity. That's right. Regardless of the color of your skin, everything is born with that Adamic curse. That's right. Born in sin, fashioned in lust, yeah. full of that devil out of hell. That's right. That's why you out here now murdering, Murder. robbing, yeah. killing, oh, yes. gang banging, getting high. That's right. Hating each other because of race. That's right. That's right. A black brother married a Hispanic sister, he didn't marry out of his race. No. When you marry out your race, you go outside the human race. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You marry out your race. There's a human race, human and race. then there's the race of beasts. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. Amen. And has made of one blood. Made of one blood. All nations of all nations. For to dwell on all the face of the earth. Everything under the sun was born of the devil. Wicked. Wicked. Adam transgression when he fell, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And Paul said, Death passed upon all men, for they all had sin. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam transgression who is the figure of him that was to come. Which means Adam wore the same shape that the Son of God would wear when God will come manifest in the flesh. That's right. All right, let's go back to where we were. Give me the book of Ezekiel now. Go back there. Amen. Let's finish up Ezekiel. Let's give the watchman. Back in Ezekiel chapter 33 and at verse 7. I want everybody to follow me and get this. And you racist bigots, mm. I want you to get this, you little cheap colored things out there. That's right. Black power, you and your black power gonna go to hell. That's right. Black folk can hold your fist. We'll see how tight you have it in hell. Amen. White folk, you can hold your arm out like Hitler. We'll see how limber your arm become when the flames of hell hit it. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is that? In Ezekiel 33 and verse 7. What is it? So thou, O son of man. So thou. Amen. The racist is so strong, even communities are divided. Yes. Amen. They think if someone come and move in a neighborhood, someone of color, they say the value go down. <laughs> That's right. As if your skin is more valuable than another. Right. Amen. You take a white brother, brown brother, yellow brother, black brother, and then let me cut all of them. <laughs> let me just cut you. Yeah. See what color your blood is. That's right. That's all. That's all you got to do. Let me cut you. That's right. Do you bleed white blood or black blood or brown blood or is your blood just red? Amen. Amen. One thing I say about the worms, they're not racist. They're waiting on your body. They're waiting on you. You don't find no worms down there and say, you going to eat that nigga? <laughs> worms ain't doing that. Oh, no. You don't find the worms down there, whites only. <laughs> You dumb it. And this is in religion. In religion. This is religious folk. That's right. Many of them claim they're Christians. That's right. Like UPC. Yeah. United Pentecostal will brag for years yeah. that they are the largest white Pentecostal organization in the world. Who cares Who what cares? color you are? That's right. You don't obey God, you're going to go to hell. That's right. Get this now. So thou, O son of man. So thou. 
Hear the old troublemaker now, son of man. I have made, I have set thee a I watchman. Have set thee a watchman, a watchman unto the house of Israel. Of the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. You want to hear the word of God at God's mouth. And warn them from you know them. what? Warn them. Play with them. Warn them. Pacify them. Warn them. Tell them religious jokes. And warn them. Turn the church to a religious comedy club. Warn them from me. My job is to give you warning from the Most High. That's right. And the Most High wants you to know, human family, yeah. he ain't impressed of none of your colors out there because he made you. That's right. You can join your black religion, white religion, yellow religion, that stuff don't impress God. No. God made all of you. That's right. That's right. Get me now. So thou, o son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of yes. Israel. Yes. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth. What is it? And warn them from me. What is it? When I say unto the wicked, when O I wicked man. When I say to the wicked, O wicked man. Thou shalt surely die. You're going to die. If thou doest not speak to if warn the wicked from his way. If you don't speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity. And what God going to do? But his blood will have acquired at thine hand. You see, if I don't tell you the truth, God going to get me. That's right. And I'm going to keep God off my back. That's right. I don't care how hard I got to hit you. Amen. Doesn't matter. Amen. Whatever it takes to keep God off my back, I'm going to hit you with the book. That's right. Don't like me. I'm not over the air to be liked or loved by nobody. That's right. I'm over the air to tell you what's right, whether you like it or not. Amen. Sometimes viewers get upset. With people when they say ill things about Pastor Jennings over social media. Why get upset? I don't. Don't bother me at all. That's right. Remember, the devils are watching. <laughs> so right. let them talk. That's right. And then let them come back the next week and watch again. Amen. And let them talk. That's right. A day will come, they will cuss the day they spoke anything ill against God everlasting word. That's right. What is it, son? When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, when thou I shalt say die. to the wicked, O wicked o man, wicked man, you're going to die. If thou doest not speak to warn the if, wicked from his here. way, if you don't speak to warn him, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. And then what? But his blood will I require at thine hand. Yes. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. If thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it. you warn the it, wicked of his ways to do what? To turn from it. Turn from it. Stay in it. Turn from it. These churches now ain't teaching you to turn from nothing. <laughs> no. That's why the people love the uh, little watered down church. A little watered down religion. That's right. Go to church, have nigga, and act like a fool, to have bingo and raffle tickets in church and all that stuff, and hey man, go on Christian cruise, and there are the women half naked That's on right. bikinis on a boat, and preacher, he got his swimming trucks on, and his wife, she got a bikini, she's 98 years old. Ooh. My Lord, it's an awful sight, Pastor. Yeah. Amen. All the elders, all the board of bishops, everything. Everything. I remember <clears throat> it was on YouTube some time ago. Uh, Kenneth Copeland's false church, his club. <laughs> was giving him and his wife a wedding anniversary celebration. Mm -hmm. This was right in church. So they played the music that played when he first danced with his wife when they was a sinner. Mm. And he was right in church, slow dragging with his my wife. Lord. My Lord. Off the worldly song, these things are full of hell. Oh, yeah. Don't you know the Bible said if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. A new creature. They got to be a change. You folk that claim you want to be saved. But you don't want to make no change. You don't want to be saved. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Do you hear this? In 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. Your change is not based upon your terms. That's right. Your change is not based upon your feelings. Right. Your change is not based upon your thoughts. That's right. Your change is not based upon how you think. That's right. Your change is based upon one thing. What God said, how he said, when he said, what you got to do, how you got to do it. All of it. It's on God's terms. That's right. That's right. You think God care who you are? <laughs> Nigga, you came in the world, Miss Thing. Yeah. 
Mr. and Mrs. Thing. Nigga, you came in the world. Glory to God and nigga, you shall return. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. creature. All things are passed away. You're not new overnight. No. To better understand this, you look at a caterpillar. At the appointed time, the the caterpillar will spin its silk and make what is called a cocoon. While it's in that cocoon, it's being born again. That's right. It's being converted. That's right. It's being changed. changed. But to be changed, it goes to its secret place. Glory to God. That's right. Thank God, and at the appointed time when the change come, the cocoon is broken open, but what come out? Yes. Look different That's right. from what went in. That's right. Go in caterpillar, but it come out butterfly. That's right. So what happened? It has a new characteristics. It have a new name, and it has a new body, and it has a new function. That's right. That's right. But it don't go in the cocoon and come out overnight. No. So when you come in God's cocoon, mm. the church. You have to rid yourself through by the word of God's help of the sin. That's right. Because the sin is weight. That's right. Which do have so easily beset us and run this race with patience that is set before us. But while you run, it says, look to Jesus. Hallelujah. Looking unto Jesus. That's right. Look unto Jesus, the author, the originator of what we believe. That's right. So while you're in the church, while you're in the cocoon, it takes time to go through conversion, yeah. change. change. That you may become a new creature, change. you go through metamorphosis. That's right. That you may become a new creature, and gradually right. all things, all behavior, all lusts, all wants passed away. Start, hallelujah, glory to God. Start to pass away pass slowly. Away. That's right. That's right. Some of those old things grip you so tight. It's hard for that thing to oh. pass away. Oh, yes. Especially when you got that second wife. Oh, yes. And that second husband. Yeah. You don't get a lot of amens on that, you know. <laughs> Amen. That's right. With that second wife, second husband, they just cross eyed each other, look at each other. Huh? Amen. They were they was with me until I hit that. Hit that. Huh? <laughs> they was with me, throwing their hand, bobbing their head, clapping their head, and saying, "You go, boy." Go, oh boy. <laughs> That's right. I might say a second wife. You go. <laughs> they be like, I don't, I don't know about that. Don't know about that part. That's right. Give me the tenth chapter of the book of Mark. Saint Mark chapter ten. Let me put that eight ball in the corner pocket. Then we we'll go right back to the book of Ezekiel. Saint Mark chapter ten. We'll start at verse eleven. All right, let's wreck all the adulterous couples on the table and let's cue the Bible Ch- and let's go ahead and put them right in the corner pocket. Here. Saint Mark chapter ten and at verse eleven. Follow me in the Bible, your second wife and third wife and second husband and third husband heathens that are watching, including your pastor. That's right. Including your bishop. That's right. Your fake apostle, your jack leg elder, your half pipe pastor. <laughs> Amen. Listen. St. Mark chapter 10 at verse 11. That's what? And he saith unto them, whosoever. I want you to get this United Pentecostal Church. That's right. I want you to get this PAW Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. Amen. Where you trade wives like someone trade cars. Yes. Listen. And he saith unto them, whosoever. Horse. Give chapter and verse. St. Mark chapter 10 and at verse 11. Get at verse 1. Quickly. At, at verse 1. All right. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea by the farther side of Jordan. Read fast. And the people resort unto him again, and as he won, he taught them again. Yes. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful? For a man to put away his wife, tempting him. Yes. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command? What did Moses command? And they said, Moses suffered you to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. No, they love Moses then, they love Moses now. That's right. Right away they jump on Moses, but Moses won't help you now. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Jesus said to him, For the hardness of your heart he wrote to this priest. Why did Moses let you do it? For the hardness of your heart he wrote Why did Moses let you do it? For the hardness of your heart. What kind of people 
was divorced for? The hardness of your heart. That was for people that got a hard heart. That's right. That's what divorce was for, those that got a hard heart. A hard a heart. A stubborn heart. That's right. Flesh lovers. Yeah. Flesh seekers. Amen. When you got a hard heart, God say he's going to take away that heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. That's right. And let you know that divorce was not for God's people. That's right. It was for a certain kind of people. For the hardness of your heart. They got a hard heart. People that haven't yet been converted. People that have not yet serving God. That's right. The flesh lovers. That's right. Mm -hmm. For the hardness of your heart. For the hardness of your heart. He wrote you this precept. He let you have a precept. But from the beginning but, of the creation. But from the beginning of time. God made them male and female. And what well, and scripture says, from the beginning it was not so. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and, and cleave, cleave to, to his, his wife. man. Cleave to his wife. You better read that white. You got on glasses. Read it right now. Mark chapter 10 and that verse 7. Don't adjust them glasses. You better read that right. I, I, I'm going to get it right, Pastor. I want this to be good in case I got any homosexuals. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Any men on the down low. Amen. If you're a dyke, you ain't right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Listen. For this cause shall a man. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. Leave his father and mother. And cleave to his wife. Amen. You mean to tell me all these women out here, and you looking at a man? My lord, my lord. I admit fornication is a sin. But if you're going to do it, don't you think you should do it right? <laughs> That's right. Someone said, Pastor Jen, it ain't no such, it ain't no right way to do sin. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. When you smoke a cigarette, you don't smoke the part that's burnt. That's right. When you drink whiskey, you don't put the bottle to your mouth with the cap still on it. <laughs> that's right. You got to open it so you can get drunk and get in an accident and die and go to hell. <laughs> Going to tell me all these women in the world? And you want a man? That's right. What a totem pole want with a totem pole. Amen. You got to be full of that devil out of hell, God knows. For this cause For this reason, shall a man leave his father and mother, leave father and, mother and cleave to, to his, his wife, wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. They two shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. Real quick. What therefore God has joined together. Let that man put his 